Hi, I'm John Carlo. Felicia's texting while we're supposed to be professional. And I'm Felicia. The one that's not professional. This is our review of... Castellan. And Castellan expansion for four to three players. The add-on. Because we're very professional yeah, here. Yeah, I thought I wasn't being professional. No, no, but you know, it's fine. You don't have to be professional to work to that. I mean, it's not like you're it's getting a paid, fun... right? It, it's a fun... Are you? You're not getting paid, right? I get paid. No. <laughs> she gets paid? In Castellan, players are trying to claim areas by closing them up. In the box, you'll get gray wall pieces, which are long walls, short walls, and towers, a deck of cards for each player, the blue player and the red player, keeps for each player, and a rule book. This is a two player game, but you can buy the green and yellow box to add another two players. The game ends when a player has no more cards to play, then the other player will draw all his cards and take one last turn. Here's how to set up. Each player chooses a color and gets the keeps and deck of that color. Now each player will separate the deck in two, a tower deck and a wall deck. Each player draw two cards from each deck to form a hand of four cards. You're now ready to start building your courtyards. Here's the phases in a player's turn. First, you play any amount of cards you want from your hand, but must at least play one card. Then you take all the pieces on those cards and add them to the castle. Here you're trying to build closed courtyards so you can claim them with your keeps. Whenever you close a courtyard, you place your color keep there. For your first claim, you can place a double keep if you wish. If you split a courtyard, you own it in two. You get both courtyards and must add a keep. When you placed all your pieces, discard the cards played and draw one card from any of the decks in front of you, playing until a player played all his cards. At this point, the other player will draw all his cards and take one more turn. Then you calculate points to see who won. Each courtyard is worth points equal to the amount of towers it has. Turn the keep you calculated on its side to show that it has been added to your score. The double keep courtyard is worth double the points. Do this for all the courtyards and see who is the winner of Castellan. Castellan is a very simple, quick game, best played at two players. You can add a third and fourth player by buying the green and yellow pack, which we mentioned before, which also comes with an extra rule book in different languages. We like that you have the option to play any amount of cards in your hands on your turn, which adds to the strategy of the game. You have to be careful when playing cards because the more of them you play, the quicker you'll run out of a deck, leaving the other player free to play all his leftover cards at once and score some easy points. The production quality is really nice and the pieces can also be used by dungeon masters for RPGs. First couple of games you might feel like you had no control on what was going to happen, but then you quickly realize that this is a very simple game and does have lots of strategy. You can test the pieces to see how they fit before actually placing them on the castle. It's a good game to have if you like quick games, easy to teach, with some strategy and luck well balanced. We like Castellan and it's getting 7.5 walls and towers out of 10.